Our next caller is Jake from Iowa. Hey, what's up, Jake? How can we help you? Hi, guys. Uh, thanks for the opportunity to be on the show today. Uh, I'm a newer listener, um, but obviously I really uh, like your guys' content and I wanted to reach out for some advice here. Uh, so my question is, um, I've been uh, training for a marathon here and I'm just about finished up with an 18-week program. And I'm just looking for a little advice on uh, once I'm done with that, I want to switch into uh, more of a heavy lifting program. Um, I bought a couple of your guys' programs and uh, just looking for a little bit of advice on the transition from uh, heavy cardio into uh, lifting. Oh, yeah. This is a fun transition, dude. Uh, it's great because what you'll, if you do this right, what you'll notice is just muscle gain right. and strength, um, you know, kind of come on your body and you shouldn't gain uh, really any body fat. In, fa in fact, you may notice that you're actually getting leaner as you're building muscle. So it's a really fun transition, very different feeling than being an endurance athlete. So the, nice. which you said you had programs of ours, which ones do you have? Um, I have anabolic and aesthetic. I got the skinny guy bundle. Oh, perfect. I, I've, That's I've never, um, been a, uh, a uh, big weight room guy uh, my whole life. So that's the place to start. Go maps anabolic, start in pre phase, do pre phase for about four weeks, three foundational workouts a week, then move into phase one, keep the three foundational workouts a week, throw in the trigger sessions, follow the program as laid out. That is going to be absolutely perfect uh, for someone like you. Any idea where your, uh, your calorie intake is right now? Yeah. So I'm at like 2,500 okay. day. I'm a little worried about the eating part. No, I know so I'm probably I, honestly don't stress that. I think uh, your your weight's at 175 right now, right? Yeah, I probably dropped down a little bit more, but yeah, okay, pretty close. So, so I mean, I would actually allow just the the natural transition of moving out of all the marathon running and then really focusing on resistance training and not really changing your eating at, at, to see how the body just responds. What what you might see is that you're not burning as much. So, of course, that's a calorie surplus, but it might be just the right amount of extra calories to help you build. And so I would actually just kind of hang out where you are calorie-wise and just focus on MAPS Anabolic. Make sure you don't skip the trigger sessions. Do those in there. That'll that'll help in keeping that movement. Now, I'm assuming you probably are kind of a, an active person, out even outside the marathon running, because I, I wouldn't want to see you go from you know, running 30 miles a week to all of a sudden sitting at a desk and never moving. Are you, are you fairly active outside of even your, your training? Um, well, I do have a desk job and I'm there a lot. And, uh, so that's kind of why I first took up the running was to get a lot more calories and movement. Um, so I, I, I don't know if I need to throw in a little walking too, yeah. or. Yeah. So, so, so maybe walk, walk after your meals. I mean, that's, you know, go, go get it and it doesn't need to be super long. Just try and make a habit of, you know, uh, if you can go take a nice 10 to 20 minute walk, uh, after meals, uh, I think with that, um, you should be, you should be fine. I don't think there's an, I don't think, an, I don't think you're going to need to do cardio to cancel out. I think your body's actually going to respond really well. The fact that like you have, sponge. yeah, the fact that you haven't, it's, a, it's actually going to work to our benefit that you have never been a real heavy strength training guy. Uh, your body's going to respond really well to MAPS Anabolic, and you're going to need the additional calories. So the fact that you're up in that 2,500 range, I, I, I like where you're at. Yeah. And Jake, another thing too, when you switch to MAPS Anabolic pre-phase, the pre-phase is meant to get your body ready to lift. So after your marathon, you definitely want to take some time off, maybe a few days, four or five days, then get into the pre-phase, and then treat the exercises like practice. So don't go into the gym and look at the exercise and be like, I'm going to work out today. Go in there and be like, I'm going to practice squats. I'm going to practice bench press. I'm going to practice deadlift. I'm going to practice rows and just get better at them and do that for about four weeks. Then move into phase one and then you can start to push it a little bit, but you're going to build muscle right out the gates. So just practicing those exercises in that way is going to send the signal uh, to build muscle. Awesome. All right. Perfect. Thanks for calling in, man. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. No problem. You guys have any experience like with a, because he's kind of a young man. You ever work with a young man who went oh, yeah. from endurance to strength? Yeah, yeah. Dude, he's going he's gonna to blow so up. a massive transformation like right out of the gates. But again, like, you know, you have to take your time and really like, you know, allow that transition to happen and, and feed your body along the process. Yeah. You know what it reminds me of? So, you know, um, when you used to compete, Adam, mm -hmm. and after a show, you would eat a bunch yeah, yeah. and it would just go straight to muscle. Yeah. 
sometimes that happens. I had a, uh, a young man that I trained very similar to this, and I'll never forget, he stopped the marathon training. We went to two or three days a week of full body training, and his body weight for a, for a, for a while hovered at the same, but mm -hmm. boy, he looked way different. Yeah. Like all of a sudden Just he completely went- completely recomped. Like, oh, yeah. oh, he went from skinny fat kind of to like all of a sudden getting really chiseled and it was tripping him out. He's like, I'm getting, like I'm building muscle. Like it feels like nothing. I said, well, this is going to last forever, but it's because you're switching so drastically. Your body's like a sponge right now. Yeah, and I mm -hmm. think that uh, I wouldn't mess with his calories right now. Yeah, keep them the same. Yeah, keep them right where they're at, and let's just watch how what happens, right? And I just like that analogy you gave. That's I think the initial couple of weeks he's gonna feel like that. I think his body has never been able to yeah. hang on, have have all those extra calories. They're putting put to work. You're going training for a marathon. You're only eating 2,500 calories. That shit's all getting used. Yep. Dude. You know what I'm saying? That's getting glorious used. newbie gains. Yeah, his body's gonna go like, oh, we got some stored energy here. And then he's going to send a signal to build muscle. And it's like, oh, this is where this is going to go. Totally. So I think he's going to see great results. Did he, did he say if he was in the form or not? Did I? Did we ask that or no? We did not ask him that. So well, maybe throw him in there, Doug. Yeah, he, give yeah. him a little surprise. Yeah, yeah tell, him it's from, uh, tell him it's from Sal. Yeah, <laughs> of course.